Hey YouTube. So in today's video, we're doing a torrent run and it's my first one since I broke my hand. It was a while ago now and no, it's not still in the cast during the tournament, but yeah, still feeling some after effects, not 100% mobility yet. And a lot of people were questioning, will Lefem be able to come back? Will I be able to compete at the same level? Am I just gonna be second fiddle to all the top players now? Can I keep dominating Europe? And I wasn't really sure myself. You know, I, I was confident that I could come back eventually, but I really did not know how this tournament run would go. And I think it's one of the best videos yet so yeah hope you enjoy but before that we have a sponsor and the sponsor of today's video and the two-day tournament run is keeps two out of three guys will experience some kind of male pattern baldness by the time of 35 and the best way to get started is to do something while you still have some hair left and with keeps a doctor will review your information and then recommend the right treatment plan for you and then you can have it sent directly to your home every three months if you have any concerns at all you can always message your keeps doctor 24 7 with any questions any concerns you can also track your progress with a keeps tracking tool they have available so if you're ready to take action and prevent some hair loss go to keeps.com left and click the link in the video description to receive 50 percent off your first order it's keeps.com see it right here slash left end. And yeah, thank you very much to Keeps for sponsoring the video. Always appreciate any company that's willing to uh, sponsor a video about Melee, sponsor a video about Smash. But yeah, let's get back to the video. And again, thank you, Keeps. Yeah, we have Bracket right now. I have no warm up. Uh, I don't know who I'm playing first either. <laughs> Alright, uh, my next match is versus Solo Battle. Oh, shit. Ready? Jeez. Choose your character. 
GG's. He did take a stock. <laughs> yeah, versus Nikki next. Ready? No games dropped so far though. Oh, I'm playing Joy Raiden next. Fucking Luigi. Let's go. In 20 minutes, I play against Pipsqueak. But yeah, I, I, at least I'm in winners guaranteed at this point. We achieved what we needed to. Now we can go for the just playing well against everyone else. Versus Fox. Ready?
thought my tech school was off, but I played him so hard. I'll take that. I'll take that. That was such a sloppy match. Holy fuck. baby let's go i have a match really soon actually rough day today boys but we'll, we're gonna do our best i just i just a good start for kinzo actually like it, i'd be scared of like left and coming out the gate and just whooping them and i'm saying you that oh. jinxed it. <laughs> yep, absolutely jinxed it lads one thing i want to point out um is and left a big proponent of it is he is he is a big big proponent of up tilt just in every matchup, like he uses it more than any fox I know, and he gets, and you see how much he gets out of it. Wow. Yeah, game one going to Leffen. Kinzo's not even playing that bad, and yeah, straight to Yoshi's. I think Kinzo has been definitely holding on decently here. A bit of an interesting extension with the up area, always a bit risky, but hey, if it works. Tongue off mix up there from Leffen. Oh my god, oh, Leffen no. just goes right out there. No, oh my god, what is just happening? Him for oh my god, he got back, he got back. <laughs> oh, Absolute Kinto, shenanigans that was, going on there. That was almost... Oh, we're doing it again? Legendary. We're doing it again? <laughs> Randall's just really wanting to get involved. Yeah, Haven't heard anyone say Ooh. that in a while. Ooh. That was very fast. Kind of like trading oh. positions right there, but... Actually, crazy how fast like these spacey matchups go. It's it's just the value of a Leffen stock. A Leffen stock you have to work for, bro. Oh yeah, he is not giving you that for free. There we go. That's it again. Yeah. Wow. What was that? Two minute game. My goodness. Here we go. Oh, quick little grab. And now we've got Leffen just chasing oh, Kinzel down. Oh. Shine. Back here? Is that it? Yep. Man, the crazy uses of up tilt. He just gets so much off of one hit. I mean, Kinzo is actually... I mean, this is totally winnable, right? Leffen at 70%, two stocks, but look at that. The positioning on these grabs. Up here chases, but... Oh, okay. Gets out of it. Nice. Yeah, it's just like Leffen's like combo DI and everything as well, and the survival DI, like... You know, a lot of like stuff that maybe Kinzo would get on other players. Like, life is just not giving it to him, and that's it. No, it isn't. Oh. Yes, it is. No, it is. <laughs> that entire last stock was just the up as you talked about. I mean, we got through the uh, the worst set of the day. No, little, no warm up. I'm excited to see because the pacing, usually on the Battlefield game, is really what sets the tone for the set overall. And last time they played, I mean, I think Leffen was actually on frame one. And he absolutely noodled him. I, I, I don't have any other words to describe. And keep in mind, IVDW said that Peach, uh, that uh, Triff is probably one of the strongest Peach players in the Fox matchup. 
because he's just so good at like covering the recovery and um, general like punish game. And that makes inputs like JC Shining and stuff like way easier, for example. Because you uh, don't have the trample time because you're actually able to use your index finger for jumping yeah. instead of actually having to use like the B button for jumping and for shining. So uh, game one, um, going to Leffen. There's like a common trend of like characters that can chain grip Fox and them just having like a massively losing neutral on FD. <laughs> and tr Leffen is like one of the players that will make you feel that. Like, you better believe that every opening you get will kill, otherwise he will make you feel like a pile of human feces. Yeah. Neutral Do you know what? This might be a little biased, kind of. Actually, also interesting to note, uh, Triff got a grab at zero. I don't know if he uh, misclicked, or sorry, misinputted. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, he like threw forward instead, right? Yeah, and I think it's actually port dependent whether up throw, uh, down smash actually works at zero, but I'm not too sure. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Oh, but brutal, brutal stuff there. Here we go, look at the difference now. Last stock, um... Oh! Getting a lot of... Left oh, him. Him. That was yeah. crazy. <gasps> getting the last hit of Dennis Rush there. Ah! Oh my god. Should, should, should I be able to clean this up? Oh! Doesn't... Jab would have done it. But, uh, Perfect short oh. and... A nice SDI. Uh, I mean, this is as equal as it gets. Can Ooh. trip all a game out of the bag? Again, the shorten. Apparently, if Peach is put one up throw, dang smash works. Oh, he's dead. Oh! Always works? Okay. Alright. God, this is so close. Oh! oh but that's with the... You're so close. He was so close to taking that game. Alright. Oh, nice. oh. Leffen just running all over Triff. Once again, when the fox you're trying to get back into the middle against is Leffen, you know, certainly not mm. easy. There you go, Leffen will seal the first stock there. This game has felt way more doable for Triff, I feel like. The, the openings that he has been getting have felt really solid, I think, on a fundamental level. And the punish game just accompanies him with that. And that's why this game looks, I think, way more even than the last one, despite it being so close, in my opinion. He's gone for a lot of dash attacks. Mm. That won't work, though. I mean... <laughs> dash attack's good. It's just... I think uh, he went for it a couple of times when Lef Leffen's at a lowish percent. Left just crouch cancelling it. The Leffen Gauntlet continues. No games taken. 3-0, baby. That second game was so close. 4.0 versus Peach? Sheesh! Still need to beat Frenzy now, though. Frenzy will probably be the hardest opponent for me, though, to beat. And it's all about who plays well. Match. I'm very much looking forward Ooh. to it. We're gonna start on Fountain of Dreams, actually. Left him going in immediately with some shines, and he actually is gonna get for shine as well. That was four shines and a forward throw. <laughs> that was so <laughs> brutal. Oh, he gets a charge on the F smash as well. Nice jabs from Frenzy, but good DI from Leffen. Gets him back to ledge. Oh, no oh, jump in, double shot. jump. Yeah. Ooh, big opening for Frenzy here. Let's see if he can get this stock. Oh. Leffen goes down, doesn't tech. That's uncharacteristic. I guess he was like prepared to get hit by that back here. Mm -hmm. Ah, very well. strong. Very strong start. Extremely fast paced game Maybe again. That. I think this pick makes sense. Just get a bit more of a neutral stage. Leffen just staying on side platform. Good backing off though Ooh. from Frenzy. Wow, that super delayed Nair from Leffen. So good on the shield pressure here. Yeah, that's a free stock right there. Yeah. He's gonna wait for the shield. Wow, great light shield there from Frenzy, avoiding the shield poke, but he still got in a bad situation. This yeah. guy definitely sees in 4D when he plays melee, I swear. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he's seen <laughs> There's a couple of dimensions that he's playing in, which is like, oh. <laughs> he's in and out of them. Falco laser. He's like a million thoughts in his head. It's like, oh God. <laughs> oh, but this should be it. I mean, just hold ledge, strong back air there, and yeah. that'll do it. And that's Clean. a JV stock. Don't count Frenzy out, the reverse 3-0 is still on the table, guys. Yeah, I mean, why do you think this is a good pick? 
I think this is a good pick because the the areas that I felt left in was just kind of dismantling Frenzy. They've been removed. There's no platforms to deal with. Falco Punish becomes a lot more trivial. But at the same time, now Leffen has a very easy way to rack up damage on Frenzy. He just feels untouchable right now. I mean, like, how, how, how is Frenzy going to do this? Or anyone, for that matter. Punishes just don't end as well. Oh, oh man. That was harsh. I, I have to say. <laughs> it was rough to watch. Yeah. That was very tough. I played dummy good. I gotta win one more set. I don't even think Francie played bad. Like, legit. He didn't SD or anything. I can definitely lose still. 100%. I haven't played a Fox today, so this is my worst possible matchup. <laughs> Alright. All right. Gonna start on Pokemon this time, not on Dreamland. Left and probably Bandit. Immediately, we're seeing that punish game. <laughs> Prof starts the game, he gets two shines and nothing off them. When Leffen gets one, suddenly it's like 40%. Yeah, and he's still going, and he's gonna get the stock as well. Looks like. yep. Dang, that weak Nair extension was so sick. Oh, quite Sorry. lucky there. For Professor Pro, he didn't get hit by that up air, and he's actually gonna take it home and uh, takes the first stock from Leffen. This is really even so far. Oh, great grab as well. Man, a lot of mix from left and in neutral as well. Oh, wow. Just holding ledge there. Doesn't even have to edge guard knowing that Prof is coming to ledge. Seems like he's committing to an option on these platforms rather than waiting to see what Leffen does, but I imagine it's also much harder to, to react. Oh. Yeah, Leffen still has jump. Good recovery from Leffen. Let's see if Professor Pro can get this punish. No! Misses yeah. the back air. Oh, terrible spot for Professor Bro, and that's a good read from Leffen. Yeah. First game goes to Leffen. It was quite close, yeah. But Leffen does have the upper hand like the whole time. He he finds the first opening and he finds the first stock, and it looks like he's gonna do the same thing here. Wow. Randall is in, in play here. Okay, another backer should do it. Wow. Didn't quite get to the legend time. Yeah, I like the that's gambit up smash there by by prof. He's like, well, you know. I should have died anyway, might as well just go for it all in. Ooh. No jump on Leffen though! And there's no oh, more! Okay, I was saying Leffen was gonna get those shines, but Prof just... proven me wrong. Oh man. Oh, uh, Leffen is kind of running away with this game as well. There he is. Oh. I don't know man, I'm starting to not believe. <laughs> the belief is slipping away. <laughs> Not quite getting the grab either. I left him managing to spot dodge out of it. Wow, a ghost for up smash, early combo finisher. Is he gonna get the kill? He goes all the way up there for the back air. And just grabbing the ledge. Wow. Yeah, okay, Leffen, he's in his head. It's really looking rough. <laughs> Leffen is just reading every single option that Professor Pro is throwing out there, man. Yeah, I think we're gonna see Dreamland pick here, I guess. No, Pokemon Stadium. I don't know, I was figuring maybe Prof wanted to go Dreamland because Yoshi's worked out so badly, <laughs> you know? Figure go for the polar opposite, but I guess this yeah. sort of accomplishes the same thing. Get some space. Still get the early kills if you need them. Oh man! Oh, God. <laughs> wow. All right, that's two stocks already. I don't know, man. That's the thing. Like when he's getting this dominant as well. When an opening is created by Prof, it just seems too flustered to actually get anything off it. Yeah, the more you need a punish to really be to the death, the less likely it's going to be to the death. You're, you're just yeah. struggling to find that kill, and it's going to make you a lot more of a target. Oh, man. Is, is Leffen going to four-stock Professor Pro right now? No. <laughs> Come on, Prof, get that last stock, at least. Oh, man. Leffen's spacing as well. He's just outplaying Professor Pro. Oh, in every man. Oh, oh, what did this combo? Yeah, Pop oh, concedes there. That was He's over it, I think. just too strong, to be to be honest. Let's fucking go, baby. Four stock to end it all. Woo! 33 fucking zero. Oh, it feels good. 33-0, baby. 33-0. GG's, everyone.